Hello everyone and welcome back to Edureka's YouTube channel. Today we are diving into something relatable to AWS. Imagine you've built a great application, but managing servers and scaling has demand growth feels overwhelming. Wouldn't it be nice to focus just on the code once and let AWS Lambda handle the server management, scaling and maintenance for you. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest tech content from Edureka. Also visit the Edureka's website for various training and certification courses. The link to the website is in the description box below. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use AWS Lambda and API Gateway to create a REST API, showing how Lambda functions are triggered by incoming requests and also display results directly in the browser. Now let's take the example of Netflix, which is one of the world's leading entertainment services with over 260 million members in more than 190 countries and is transforming its infrastructure with AWS Lambda. Netflix is no stranger to complexity. Each quarter, they deliver billions of hours of videos to millions of customers worldwide. Supporting this demand requires a powerful, agile infrastructure, and Netflix as an AWS customer relies on AWS Cloud Power to keep up. With Neil Hunt, Netflix's chief product officer, leading the way, Netflix plans to use AWS Lambda to create rule-based, self-managing infrastructure to replace outdated, inefficient processes, reduce errors, and free up time. By integrating Lambda, they have set their sights on automating tasks that are once required hands-on management. With Lambda, Netflix now has the potential to improve efficiency, reduce costs, and also deliver a more seamless experience. Here's how Lambda has already helped solve some major challenges. First, we have is encoding media file. Netflix receives huge volume of media files from studios. With Lambda, every new file triggers rules that break down, encode, and reassemble content for streaming. This automation speeds up the encoding process, reducing wait times and manual effort. Next, we have is backup for disaster recovery. Previously, data backups were time intensive. Now, Lambda can trigger backups whenever new data is saved, ensuring all data is backed up automatically and securely and rerunning failed backups when needed. Similarly, two more problems security and conformity and then dashboards and monitors. By building this rule-based, self-managing infrastructure with AWS Lambda, Netflix is turning its vision of a fully automated and efficient system into reality, serving millions of members with a smarter, faster and more secure service. But how? You only have to spend running the code once. So. There is no wasted resources and no need to worry about under or over provisioning servers. Pretty cool, right? AWS Lambda really helps businesses like Netflix, Flipkart, which handle high volume tasks without the stress of managing all the infrastructure. Now let's understand what exactly means by AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is a serverless computing service provided by Amazon Web Services that allows you to run code without provisioning or even managing servers. Alright, let's dive into a demo where I'll show you how to use Lambda function and API gateway to create a REST API. We'll also see how it triggers the Lambda function and how it all works together. Let's get started. Now as you can see this AWS platform, let's start with the first step. Now let's create a Lambda function. This function will act as our API backend. Now let's go to AWS Lambda service and click on Create function and name it as new API Lambda. We have the runtime as Node.js. Now let's change the runtime to Python. Let's click on create function. For this demo, I'll keep it simple with a basic message response. But in a real world setup, this function could hold any backend logic for your application. Add the desired functionality for your API in the Lambda function code. For this demo, add code to simply return the message here. By default, we have hello from Lambda. Now let's type into hello from Edureka as well. Moving forward, now click on deploy. So here you can see the deployment is successful. Moving forward, we have to create a REST API in API Gateway. For that, let's go to API Gateway service in AWS and select REST API. Now, choose new API, name it as 
my first API and set the endpoint type to regional and click on create API. Now we will create a method for the API. Select the slash resource in the API gateway and click on create method. Then choose get as HTTP method. For the integration type, select lambda function. Choose the lambda function created in the previous step that is new API lambda. Click on the create method. Confirm any prompts to grant API gateway permission to invoke the lambda function. Here you can see that the API is successfully created by the get method. Now let's config the integration and test the setup. If you see here, this is how the API works. First we have the client. The client sends a request to the API. So in method request, the API checks the request like permissions and then an integration request. The request is forwarded to the lambda function and then comes the lambda integration. Lambda processes the request and returns a result. Next in the integration response. The lambda output is formatted for the API. And in the method response, the API prepares the response for the client. At the last in, we have the client. The final response is sent back to the client. This is how the flow works from the client to the lambda and back. So, we can also test this API. For that, let's deploy the API. In API Gateway, go to Actions, Deploy API. Create a new stage. Let's put the stage name as dev and click deploy. Now the API is deployed. Now let's invoke the API. Copy the invoke URL from the deployed stage. Paste the URL in a browser like Chrome or a tool like Postman to test the GET request. Here you can see the response as status code 200 along with hello from Edureka. So, this is a short demo using the AWS Lambda function and API Gateway to create a REST API. We have come to an end of this AWS Lambda video. If you have enjoyed it, please be kind enough to like it. And you can comment on any doubts and queries. We will reply to them as soon as possible. Do look up for more videos and playlists and also subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.